This is a short introduction to the standard level of autograph. Uh, you can tell it's standard level, first of all, because this is the point in the advanced level where degrees and radians options sit. Also down here it says the word standard. Uh, let's just start again from scratch and you can see how it happens. So we'll open up autograph and soon after the opening splash you do get this option between standard and advanced. Standard level has no radians options, uh, it's always in degrees and there's no calculus options and there are one or two other things that make it uh, more appropriate to the younger user. So we'll click OK. So what we've got here is you'll notice that these are all square units and that's because equal aspect is on by default in the standard level so it always opens up that way. You can always turn it off if you wish to by just clicking that and it's gone. But equal aspect means that the X scale will readjust itself to fit whatever you set the Y to. So if I double click on the axis I can open up the edit axis settings. This is where you can fix the numbers and the pips it's going in twos at the moment, every two, and the pips are going every one. But you can adjust all that by just undoing this and putting one here, for example, and that means it now goes in ones. But if I change the X scale and equal aspect is on, there really isn't a lot of point in doing that. Well, I can change the focus. If I change that from zero to 20, thinking I'm going to get 0 to 20. Uh, it will at least uh, make some attempt to start at 0, but it won't go to 20 because that didn't fit equal aspect. Um, what other buttons are useful here? Well, this one is default scales, and the default is minus 6 plus 6. It just gives you nice looking scales which finish exactly on the edge. Um, it didn't necessarily all you want, but if you change that to equal aspect, obviously that has to readjust now. Let's enter an equation. Let's do y equals x squared plus 10. Hmm. Where is it? Well, uh, which of these buttons will find that for you? This one? No, that will simply go back to that again. Equal aspect is not relevant, so we have to go to, e to this one here, double click on this to edit the axes. And there's another one which is auto scale. The auto scale will say, right, these are the x's we've got. Let's find an appropriate value of y which will certainly show the function and there it goes. It isn't necessarily ideal. Um, I think probably it would have been better to have done that without equal aspect mode. So I'm going to undo that back to where it was. Take equal aspect off. Then edit axes. Double click. Then go to auto scale. And now we've got a different sort of graph. So it just depends what you want. But obviously you have full control over the graphing. Double click by putting in uh, values here. Um, this is very handy, default scales, if you have trig functions plotted. So let's just do that very quickly. If you enter an equation, y equals sine x, will look a bit silly like that, because at 8 degrees it's hardly got going. Uh, and yet if we now do the red tick, it puts it into a very nice appropriate scales. Although again, you can always double click on here and change that. Um, it's going ticks every 90 and 45 by default, because it knows about trig values. The other thing that's rather special about the standard level uh, are these buttons up here. This is snapped grid is on by default to whole numbers. So that means, for example, it's very easy. You can be quite a long way out and you can snap these on and produce a diagram very simply. And a whole set of points like that you can select and right click. You can group it to a shape and then do all your transformation geometry on that reflection of the axis and so on. Another consideration of equal aspect is if you have a graph, say, of y equals x, which should, of course, be at 45 degrees, but it will only be at 45 degrees if equal aspect is on. Now, let's see what happens now if I use this button here, which makes it a floating window. And you can see that whatever shape I make the window, the x-axis will adjust accordingly to make sure that that line is still at 45 degrees. Well, first of all, let's just show it in action that and that selected and right click will give us the opportunity of a reflection. That all works very nicely and if I was to join these two points here in a line segment that is of course right angles to that and whatever I do to this that is preserved. Whereas if I take equal aspect off uh, that is no longer preserved and we can make that angle anything we like. So there are certain occasions when equal aspect is actually very important. Finally, if we just uh, maximize that again and put on 
equal aspect once again. Uh, if I double click on the axes, there are one or two things that I have not mentioned. Uh, this way you can do labels, various options, but also the appearance is a nice way. You can change everything, but there are some preset themes which are very nice. And let's go down to graph paper, that's quite a popular one. So there's just a few observations on the standard level of autograph. <laughs>